Hello everyone. We have already discussed the causes of land degradation. Today I will discuss how to control land degradation. Number one, afforestation. Afforestation means growing more and more trees. We can control land degradation. Number B, limited grazing and mining. That means grazing and mining can be practiced in limited scale. And number C, proper waste management. That means we can manage the waste, especially from the factories, industries and the houses. Different types of the poisonous or the chemical elements are discharged or disposed everywhere. So we can properly manage it or we can manage its disposal, where to throw it. We can manage it properly to control the land degradation. And number D, limited use of fertilizer. Excess use of the fertilizer also degrade the soil or degrade the quality of the soil. So we can control excess use of the fertilizer also to control the land degradation. Now we will discuss the types of soil. Types of soil, first forest and mountain soil. Forest and mountain soil basically found in the mountainous or the hilly areas. You can follow the arrow and the color there, that is the green color is there. Basically found in Jammu Kashmir area. After that, the northernmost part of West Bengal, that is the Darjeeling only. And after that, Arunachal Pradesh also, we find the forest and the mountain soil. Second one, alluvial soil. Alluvial soil, you follow the arrow there also. Alluvial soil, we find mostly in Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Assam area. And this alluvial soil is formed or deposited by the depositional work of river Indus, Ganga and Brahmaputra. And this alluvial soil we also found in the peninsular India, eastern coastal plain and western coastal plain also, okay. Now, red and yellow soil, you can follow the arrow. It is widely found in India, basically in the southern and southeastern part of India. Southern and southeastern part of India, we find it. And at the same time, easternmost part of India, Mizoram, Nagaland, some parts of Assam, Manipur, also we find red and yellow soil. Another one, black soil. Black soil we found mostly in Maharashtra and Saurashtra region of Gujarat, that means the southern Gujarat and also Satishgarh. After that, laterite soil we find in Kerala, Tamil Nadu. Karnataka also, okay. And last one, arid soil, we found mostly in the western Rajasthan area. Rajasthan is a desert area. So arid soil, it is found in the desert area of western Rajasthan especially. Now, the important point, okay, from the types of soil. Alluvial soil types. Alluvial soil can be divided into two types. Khadar, also called new alluvial soil and this is the most fertile alluvial soil also and this type of the soil is found mostly in the flood prone area that means the area where river carries flood and with the flood river carries the alluvial soil every year that means in the area where river carries flood and along with the flood carries the alluvial soil every year in those flood prone areas we find the khadar or the new alluvial soil and this is the most fertile alluvial soil also second one is wangar also called old alluvial soil and this soil is less fertile in comparison of the new alluvial and mostly in india we find old alluvial soil okay now black soil also called black cotton swell. It is called black cotton swell because it is suitable for the production of cotton. And it is also called regor swell. That is different in names of black swell. Characteristics of the black swell is very much important. 
first it is made up of fine clay material that means very fine particle of the clay it is made up of okay and secondly rich in soil nutrients this soil is very rich in soil nutrients and c it has very high capacity to hold moisture and at the same time especially during dry time we can see crack in this soil that means during the dry time this soil also gets dry and we can see the crack in the soil मतलब उस सोयल में ज़्यादा हम लोग दरार वगैरह देखने को मिलते जनरली आपका ड्राई सीजन में जब मिट्टी सूख जाता है तो मिट्टी फट जाते है ओके दिस मच